Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch The Big Bang Theory to see how accurate all the science and technology in this TV show really are. Some hippie's mobile sex dungeon. <laughs> well, Sheldon, there's something about this van that you're going to find very interesting. It runs on syphilis? <laughs> This van was owned and driven by your personal physics hero, Richard Feynman. No. That is really, really cool. And I remember, um, I think I watched this episode a long, long time ago. And from last I remember, that really is Richard Feynman's van. Like, that is, like, the, the real deal. It's not a prop. That actually was the same, like, vehicle that he drove. And Richard Feynman was a Nobel Prize winning American physicist. And... I, I think he won his Nobel Prize for um, quantum for work his work in quantum electrodynamics and particle physics. Richard Feynman was even cited by Bill Gates to be an amazing, amazing teacher. Like Bill Gates did a video on his YouTube channel explaining about how awesome Richard Feynman was and how like his teaching method was just incredible. Like he would really just dive as deep as possible into whatever physics or math concept that he was teaching, and he would explain it at such a level that it was relatable and easy to understand. When did you learn how to change a tire? Every self-respecting gentleman should know how, in case he comes across a damsel in distress by the side of the road. If I see one scorpion, I am getting on someone's shoulders and never coming down. Those diagrams on the side of the van are actually called Feynman diagrams, and they are the real deal, actually. <laughs> These straight lines represent, I think they're electrons, and the curved lines represent protons. When the exterior of this van was restored, the artist took a little bit of liberty, and he actually like changed some of the angles of those diagrams, but for the most part, they are very much correct and accurate to the real world like physics, and even cooler than that, the color of the van exterior is mustard, which does actually connect to the very opening sequence of this um, episode, so writers, really good job, that was clever. There's a Feynman diagram on the back of the van that shows two muon neutrinos exchanging a particle, and that was more of a prediction, but many years later that particle was shown to exist, and it's called a Z boson. Percussive shock you! <laughs> I have never heard of the percussive shock principle before. I mean, is it just him banging on the lug nut to like loosen it up? I just googled it and this is the explanation. The center of percussion is the point of an extended massive object attached to a pivot where a perpendicular impact will produce no reactive shock at the pivot. Translational and rotational motions cancel at the pivot with an impulsive blow that is struck at the center of percussion. Whatever that means, great. But I'm just going to run with the fact that Leonard is just banging at it with a crowbar to see if the lug nut will loosen up at all. I had no idea tortilla chips are such a good fuel source. They're basically pure hydrocarbons soaked in fat. Let's hope the lug nut expands. What if that burning food attracts animals? Thermal expansion is uh, actually pretty straightforward to explain. Uh, when you drastically change the temperature of any object, you can affect its shape, area, mass, density, volume. I mean, a lot of things can be affected by temperature. It's one of the key indications of a chemical reaction. But what they're trying to do here with thermal expansion is basically when you heat something up, it gets bigger. And when you freeze it or cool it down, it gets a little bit smaller. Except for water. Water actually expands when it freezes, which just makes no sense, but it's water. Water's weird. Oh, what is that awful smell? It's burning salsa. I'm hoping the acidity and salinity combined with electricity will corrode the lug nut off. What an innovative solution. Now, perhaps I don't give your MIT education enough credit. Yeah, I saw it on Mythbusters. <laughs> That, that's not a terrible idea, um, like he is doing it right, accelerated corrosion, but I don't know if there's enough acidity or salinity in salsa or the tortilla chip or whatever he was doing to actually melt the lug nut. Alright, 
this rust combined with the aluminum recovered from the van is now thermite. Met your touch. <laughs> That sucks, but um, exothermic reaction is just a release of energy, usually in the form of light and heat, and fire gives us both, which leads me to combustion. When, you, I mean, when you, when you light a match around stuff that's flammable and around a car, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if they really thought this through. I think they were just exhausted, and after a while, they just wanted to see whatever actually worked, but um, yeah, that... That could happen. I hope they didn't actually burn the real Richard Feynman van. I don't think they did, but I, I like to believe they didn't. I hope in this scene they just use like a prop instead of the actual van because that would be one hell of a way to end this car. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to watch more Big Bang Theory, let me know which season, which episode in the comments down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.